Hello, it's Not Bad Cat here on February 19th, 2022 with your weekly RimWorld mod updates and uploads. One downside of this series is I find too many mods that are amazing that my mod list of what I call essentials bloats up. This week, I've got several mods that might make your list too. Let's dive in. Are you tired of your pawns trying to melee attack with a beer when their fists are stronger? Or that wood log? Oh, how annoying that gets when you use the mod simple sidearms. Well, not a weapon by it Adi stops your pawns from equipping these quote unquote weapons. It works with several common mods to remove alcoholic drinks, other types of wood, and fish, of all things, from being a weapon. No longer do I have to worry about a pawn complaining about not having one of their remembered weapons. It's a beer. You drank it. Neuronix 17 has created 021 Vanilla Hair Retextured to give you a nice clean look when you zoom in on your pawn using the mod Camera Plus. It includes all hair in vanilla as well as any added by DLC. It does include any beards, but perhaps you could commission Neuronix to make them in the future. It stinks when you've got to cook at a high level and somehow they make a mistake and your best fighters get food poisoning at the absolute worst time. Food Poison Overhaul by Mia Thea allows you to set what level a cook will no longer have a random food poisoning chance. It's super helpful if you use the Vanilla Cooking Expanded mods where you can make 40 servings of soup in one go, because if one is poisoned, they're all poisoned. You'll still have to keep the kitchen clean to prevent food poisoning, so don't neglect it. I've covered a couple of Ouroboros' steampunk mods in this weekly series, but this week adds a little extra. Steampunk Power Conduit isn't a replacement to normal power conduits. You can choose which one to use. It also works with mods that make power conduits invisible. So you can use the steampunk ones if you like the visual, but hide the regular conduits. What makes these special is that they have animations. They can flash with lightning or release puffs of steam. Of course, you can change how often that occurs or disable it altogether in the settings. From Ashes to Ashes, Dust to Dust by Gareth is a mod that gives your ideology more options to honor your dead. After all, throughout our world, there is more than simply burials. It's a good way to theme your ritual to be more in line with what your colony believes. Currently, only natural burials and pirate burials are in the mod, but Gareth has plans for heroic, cannibal, and sky burials. There's also more to be discovered, so try the mod out and don't delete the funeral rite so you can fit in another dance or drum party. Rimworld, for some reason, allows nudist tribes to make bases on sea ice. There is no way they actually survive that. And why would anyone settle in extreme desert if they have no way to properly cool themselves? Well, Helixian's mod, Don't Settle There, gives them a little bit of logic so they won't make dumb decisions like these. Factions already supported are all of the Vanilla Expanded, some Rim Effect, and Moyo mods. It also supports several common biome mods like Regrowth, Biomes, more Vanilla Biomes, and Moro Rim. Any faction or biome not yet supported will just behave like normal. Comigo's Majestic Trees is a mod that makes forested areas actually look full. Rainforests always look so bare to me, and trees never block visibility. Well, Comigo's Majestic Trees changed that. To see beneath the trees, you had to mouse over an area. Well, Dijiska has created a retexture for Comigo's Majestic Trees called CMT Retexture that really makes your biome come alive. So if Comigo's original textures weren't quite your thing, give CMT Retexture a try. I have no doubt there will be more to come for this mod. Do you want even more crops to grow? Or want new places to grow things? Vanilla Plants Expanded, More Plants by Sarg Bjornsson gives you a plethora of options, each with their own unique effects. Lettuce plants need to be shaded with a roof overhead, but still outside. Sweet potatoes grow faster in gravel than normal soil. Cave moss, tink shroom, and heel shroom for cave dwellers. And dual crops like barley, which yields both hay and flour when harvested. 
and those growing zones, some crops can be grown on sand or shallow water. These crops ignore terrain fertility, take a long time to sow and harvest, but this is a place that would normally go to waste. And you can also create vegetable milk from crops like rice, almonds, or coconuts. You're still better off using livestock for milk, and vegetable milk won't fulfill any recipe's need for meat or animal products. You can use this with the VGP mods or Rim Cuisine too. So if you're really into farming or need variety, like for the Variety Matters Improved mod, this mod is a great addition. I was able to beta test this mod and I am so excited it has been released so I can show you. Vanilla UI Expanded by LEGO Dude 17 is going to give you the ability to customize your UI further to fit your needs. You can use this with Rim HUD or Numbers. It's not trying to compete with them. What Vanilla UI Expanded does is it lets you create and organize your architect tab however you want. Group similar things together or create your own architect category. Not only that, you can rearrange the menu bar. Put research right next to the assign or architect menu if that's what you want. It also adds more overlay buttons which you can hide and it is compatible with TD Enhancement Pack. You can change some menus to a float menu and gain the ability to search through it. This mod adds a search bar to many places. It's super helpful. And if it's full of things like animals or furniture, you'll be able to find them more easily by seeing their visual. If you go into development mode and use the debug action menu a lot, like I do when trying to get in-game footage, it has a favorites list. Because I had to use T Destroy a whole ton in the weekly video where I did a montage on alpha memes. And when you search for a command, it can hide all other commands that don't fit the search. There is so much more. If you would like me to delve into mods like these in detail, tell me in the comments which mod you'd like to see a more thorough explanation of. That wraps up the mod updates and uploads for this week of February 19th, 2022. If you're interested in any of these mods, you can find links to them in my description. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode. I'm not Bad Cat, and I'll see you next week.